what is up guys? Pulley here, welcome back to some more Fire Emblem New Mystery of the Emblem. Last time we took on Chapter 6, which was night and day difference. It was still a long map, which it's a long map in original, you know, Mystery of the Emblem. But it was night and day differences in terms of just like, it, it didn't make me want to drink bleach over playing the game. So for that, that's a, that's a good shit from me. Uh, also, Samto, uh, we got a, a lovely, at least he was hot, voice line, because he died. But uh, he let us, he died as, as a sacrifice to let us move forward. And we got a killing edge, so hey, whatever. We're moving on to chapter 6, X, our second Gaiden chapter, to continue on with this little, like, subplot that they've added with, uh... Katarina and Legion and whatnot. Uh, sire, we've been ambushed by the enemy. The uh, enemy troops are waiting for us ahead. All right, Jagan, Jezebel, make preparation for battle. He yes, sent once. So mercenary squad. Oh, we're jumping right into it. Okay. All right. So let's see. What do we got under talk? Oh my God, the list gets longer and longer. Martha and Sheeta, Sirius and Jezebel, Yumina and Jezebel, Ogma and Jezebel, and Katra and Jezebel. Oh, Martha and Sheeta. Uh, Sheeta, have you been keeping well? Hello, Marth. Yes, of course. I see. I'm glad to hear it. If anything were to happen to you, I wouldn't be able to look King Talos in the eye. You're too kind. And you, Marth, are you well? Please worry not, Sheeta. I have all the help I could possibly want and more. Hmm. Starting with Jezebel, we have so many reliable people, don't we? Yeah, that's why Sheeta must implore you to leave the fighting to us. Huh? Marth, what do you mean? I do not wish to. Uh, I do not wish to see you on the battlefield. If you must, I'd prefer it if you would support us from uh, away from the front lines. Marth, how could you say such a thing? Am I that much of a burden to you? N no, Shida, that's not what I meant. I don't want to see you get hurt. Your safety is of immense importance to me. So, are you telling me to wallow alone in prayer somewhere arrows won't reach me while everyone else is fighting? Th that that's just. I won't have it. I can't sit quietly while others risk their lives. Sheeta. I'll fight. I'll fight by your side. I'll show you that I'm capable. Oh, Sheeta, did I say something wrong? Eh, kinda. It doesn't matter. Like, I think last chapter was her last chapter anyway, <laughs> so... Uh, Sirius and Jezebel. Hmm. You are? Jezebel. And no need to tell me you're Sir Sirius. Indeed. You're a rude fellow. That murderous hatred is directed at me. Oh, I was about to say, we just said hi. Like, what? That's right, I don't trust you one bit. First of all, you hide your face and your identity. Sirius isn't even your real name, is it? What makes me most suspicious is your stance. You never leave any openings. I can tell you're a warrior for, of great renown. Speak of my defensive stance. It's perfectly natural in a battlefield. Don't change the subject. You're no mere knight. Who the hell are you? What do you do if I don't answer? Prince Martha's is very kind. However, I know there are scoundrels who would take advantage of his kindness. I shall protect Prince Martha from these villains at all costs. Seems we'll be able to solve this with words alone. My thoughts exactly. Then here I come. What? You're too fat. <laughs> Just get stabbed in a support. Like, whatever. Be at peace. It was a blunt strike. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, Yumina and Jezebel. Hmm? Feels like I'm being watched. Princess Yumina? Uh, Jezebel! What are you doing? Such display of rudeness before the Princess of Grust, no less. Please forgive me, Princess Yumina. Is there anything you wish for me to do? Well, uh... Yes? No, nothing. What was that all about? Oh my fucking god. It's one of those supports. Okay. Ogma and Jezebel. Sir Ogma. Jezebel, huh? What's wrong? You look serious. There's something I'd like to ask you. Please let me learn from you, Sir Ogma. I don't understand. You're a full-fledged knight, are you not? What do you seek from a mere mercenary? Sir Agma, not only are you a hero from a previous war, you save Princess Yumina and Prince Yubel from an enemy castle all by yourself. I don't think you're a mere mercenary. 
Sorry, but find someone else. I'm not the one. Someone who teaches others. I'm a man who can do nothing but fight. Dan, I want you to fight me. Can I ask you to spar with me one on one? What? My grandfather used to tell me this. The best way of knowing somebody is fighting them. Through battle, you get to understand just uh, not just your opponent's techniques, but also their personalities and upbringing. I see, your grandfather is correct, but you realize this, right? Once I start, I'm not going to play around. I am prepared. Very well. More getting stabbed, alright. Capture it in just about two. I don't remember what the first one of this was. I probably wasn't too substantial. Just all uh, about that last battle, I'm sorry. You had to save me. It's fine, we're comrades after all. But you left yourself wide open in battle. That's not like you. Did something happen? No, I just like experience. That's not true if you fought with your full strength. You wouldn't need my help at all. That reminds me, sometimes I see you just staring off in the distance. Were you watching Prince Mar? Oh, okay. I, like, I've heard about this, but, like, this Catria one-sided love thing is nowhere to be seen in the other games. N no, it isn't like that. I was, a. Uh... You don't need to hide a Catria. Prince Marth is a great man, after all. Everyone is fighting in this army because they admire Prince Marth. I'm no different. You feel the same way, don't you? Y yeah, th that's right. For your sake as well, Catria, I must do my best as a royal guard. I'll become stronger for Prince Marth, for you, and for all. Okay, and cur current status. Apparently a mercenary group is awaiting us at our destination. However, we are the renowned and mighty Altaian army. There's no need for us to fear mere mercenaries. We'll cross the enemy and return to Altair as soon as possible. Okay. Let's see what kind of goodies we got. Strength boost for Sheeta after we're probably going to bench her. Uh, caster... Barst Magic Potion? Is it like tonics? I guess we'll see here in a second. Picked up something weird. A laundry pole. And a bamboo sword. Sounds like two joke weapons. Let's see. Uh it's better than the blunt sword. What the fuck is this? Weak, but easy to use. It has two might, 120 hit, but it has 30 crit. And it's e rank. Oh my god. Okay, I... I kind of dig that. Uh... Who's, like, low on... Do we have anyone who's, like, really low on sword rank that we've been using? I mean, Frey. He just came in. He can still, he can wield steel. I, I'll give him the bamboo sword too. He can kill land bamboo sword. What's the difference? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, do, how much money do I have? Like nothing. And I don't. Again, I don't really like this. Like it's safer, sure. There's something about it, ma'am. Like, again, we're fighting an axe. No. Alright. Uh, so I guess let's check. How many people can we bring to this? No. Wrong button. Only seven. Okay, let's look at the map. Oh, we start completely surrounded? What the hell? I do kind of like that these guidance, well, at least so far, have been kind of small maps. Um, I saw in my in Spanish site stuff, yeah, Caesar and Rad is here. Um, how do we recruit them? Just don't kill them. But well, hopefully they don't come after me. Is this just a defeat the boss? Oh, no, it's C's. Oh. They come after me. I mean, okay, on one hand, it's not really any loss if I kill Caesar or Red. Uh, unless they've gotten, like, some ridiculous buff. Which I think Rad got a pretty significant buff just going from Fire Emblem 3 to Shadow Dragon. Or 1 to Shadow Dragon or whatever. Um, but it's still rad <laughs> i don't know we'll see um 
So people I want to bring, though? Like, there's axes everywhere. Uh, some steel bows. What do you have? Anything, like, really hand axes? There's no reinforcements. So... I definitely want to bring... bring people with swords, but also something to deal with in armor. So, let's do... Can you... No, you can't wield an armor slayer. Damn. Let's do Agma. Yeah. Now let me double check. I think the only thing... Julian has three star shards. He has one with magic, which... He doesn't need. Um, I, I mean, we'll trade that over to Malisha. I don't know which one it is. Defense. Oh, Gemini's strength. Okay, so no, he's gonna keep the strength magic. Two luck and two defense. We can give the luck. See, he's twelve. We can give the luck to Paula or Agma. I think I can give it to Agma. We'll put the killer bow back in Jezebel's inventory. And which one was it? Was it Libra? Yeah. Okay, then view map. I mean, yeah, I guess this is as good as it's really gonna get. So let's just save. I don't think I need anything else. I don't know. Let's get it going. We did it, Caesar. Our ambush was a success. Are completely surrounded. Tactical victory is ours. You see, however, don't lower your guard. Our enemies, the Altean army, know how strong they are. But Caesar, do you really, are you really fine with this? It, uh, we did fight under Altea's banner in the previous war. We're mercenaries, we have no leash. I need gold and will do anything for it, even selling my soul to the devil. Gold, huh? Indeed. When we get the reward from Emperor Harden, I'm sure we could save her. All right, let's do it, Caesar. Brad, there's no need for you to follow me. Our sister is my business. Who's your sister? The Altean army is strong. You'll die if you're careless. I'm doing it for my own interest, too. So I'll tag along with you, Caesar, as long as... Uh, as I always have, and always will. Very well, let's go. Roro, you're ready, I presume. I don't remember what voice I gave him at the start. Probably just something generic villain. Yeah, yeah, it's finally my turn now. <laughs> Together, those mercenaries will give Martha a royal funeral. Seems some of these mercenaries were Marth's allies in the previous war. I do wonder if they'll be of any use. So what? Doesn't matter if they're useless. All I have to do is kill them myself. I don't like you getting the best part. So well, do whatever you want. Okay. So again, if they move in on me, like... That's their own fault, I think, though. Like, I don't see myself using them. So I'm gonna go over their growths as they are here, just to cover them. And we'll make a decision here. So Caesar, I already have him selected. Caesar, 90 HP, has 50 strength growth, level seven with eight strength, 11 speed. Doesn't seem too awful, like, on bases. 50 speed, or 50 strength, uh, 55 speed. 25 defense, 45 skill. I mean, like, not terrible. Not terrible. He seems like an okay mercenary. Like, where's... Let's see, level 7 versus level 10. So three levels. Uh, and three levels, he's not gonna have 16 speed. So that's a big downside. Skill's also way lower. Uh, defense is the same as Agma. And then strength. Strength is kind of in the same spot. But he's a lot slower than Agma. So, like, I don't see myself using him whatsoever. Uh, so, that being said, if he comes and suicides on me, I probably won't reset. <laughs> uh, and then on the other side, we have Rad, which, like, Rad, from a design standpoint, I don't mind. Um, he's a Myrmidon. So, let's see. So five strength uh 13 speed 10 skill 5 defense uh growth wise he has 50 strength just like caesar uh which i think is better than navarre 
Well, it's definitely better than Samto. We don't, we haven't seen Navar yet. Um, the Samto was had a 30 strength growth, so 50, not bad. 65 speed uh, and 45 skill. Again, not bad. Like his girls actually seem like they got buffed again. I don't fully remember what they were in Shadow Dragon, but I know he's trash in Fire Emblem One, One and Three. So he's seen a buff, but where he at, where he is right now, considering what mode we're playing, I don't think the effort to get him up to snuff is going to be worth it whenever I already have units that still need their their time in the limelight. So again, if Caesar and Rad come at me and they kill themselves, that's their own fault. With that being said, uh, let's see. The bows, I do kind of fear. What am I doing? Let's see, 24 use on the steel bow. Let's see. <sighs> Alicia. I mean, just, just do damage then, Alicia. She can't double. I'm just gonna hit him. Hit him real hard. And then we're going to perfectly kill, I just realized. We do 19 times 2. Am I not seeing? Fighter, fighter. Oh, I was like, why can you attack Alicia, but you can't? It's, if this guy moves, this guy can take his place and, okay, I see, I see. Um, I, I think this is gonna be, I, I might've, I might have made a little bit of a mistake here. <laughs> oh, I'm really looking at things. Because, uh... Considering everything can pretty much attack the entire map. This is very much going to be a situation where... I'm gonna have to take a lot of hits all at once. Which should end up okay, but considering how RNG has been so far, I'm I'm not counting on it. I could see a reset coming immediately and have to just run to the bottom of the map uh, on the reset, but let's just see. Because, yeah, Ogma, Ogma does not like that whatsoever. So it's down to what axes are going to land their shots. Because here's a bow on just belt. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. Uh, that guy just used a vulnerary. Okay. Okay, we dodged that, thankfully. And then it's up to... Are you gonna be... Triple teamed? Because Paula... Or we... Let's see! Okay, we dodge. Thank you, Agma. Thank you. Let's say, like, it's kind of down to RNG. I, I knew Ogma. They do attack. These fucking idiots. The time for words is gone. Fighting is all we can do now. At least it was Jezebel on this side. Uh, and Rad just killed himself. Just 100% killed himself. I'm Rad, deputy commander of this mercenary band. Here I come. Doesn't do damage. Gets one shot in return. Caesar, please stay alive. Again, like, I'm not surprised it happened. Okay. Ogma, chill out down there real quick. Uh, Marth, Iron Sword, finishes this guy off. 
let's see here. 15 times 2. Okay, Julian, Julian is getting places. Julian is getting places. Also, like, okay, if I'm being real, out of both of them, the one I was actually more inclined to try to use was Rad, but he's gone. Caesar, that's a that's free experience. <laughs> like, the only thing I could see. Let me, let me, you know what? Characters. I don't remember who Caesar's sister is. He mentioned something. I have no idea. I can't remember. Um, because <clears throat> he's pretty relevant in my head. So for him to have any sort of story relevance in terms of relatives, no idea. Let's see. If I look down the the list for recruitment, does Caesar pop up for recruitment for someone? Uh, no. Neither does Rad. Or Rad. There's a difference. Uh, only other thing I could think of to look at. Uh, I just forgot. <laughs> yeah, I, I had something in my mind that was like, I also want to check this, and it's it's blank. It's gone. Uh, let's see. How does Cecil? It doesn't double. Let's go over here. Uh, do I have an iron? I guess steel sword it is. Vulnerary. Go. Uh, okay. I want to highlight both of them. Make sure we're in a good spot. Um. Can I javelin you? Okay, we hit one, he hit his, but that also means Julian can kill. Now, if you hit your 40, I'm gonna be upset. You hit your 40, all right, we gotta kill Caesar. We gotta just kill Caesar. Can Malisha do it? No, no she can't. Well, actually, okay, Caesar, 11 speed, he's not gonna double Julian. Julian's 20 speed. Caesar has 17 attack minus uh, eight. So we can do nine. Okay, Julian can take that. Julian can take that. Uh, however, he can reach Ogma. Alicia. I guess we're gonna do this. The last thing I want is Ogma to die to something stupid. Um, so they both can reach this, which is the same exact thing. All right. I'm just gonna get rid of one of them. I didn't really want to give that kill to Jezebel because she doesn't really need it, but shit happens. Oh, I, I meant to look at, I was like, speaking of, like, potions and stuff. You go, Malisha. Uh, I forgot to check the magic thing. Magic potion. Plus two for the whole chapter on you. Okay, so yeah, it is tonics. Okay. So they started in this game, I suppose. Right? Because they weren't yeah. Cool. Uh, let's see. 40, 36, 38, 21, 29. Okay, just looking at experience. We'll give this to Cecil. Iron Lance. I'm gonna save one little sister. I, I, let me look. Who is... Like, no, you can't. Like, you're the one committing Sudoku. Caesar. Biological information. Sis, uh, control F sister. Is it just a nameless sister? Wow. I care even less now. There, there was a little bit of me that was like, oh, maybe he's related to someone I didn't realize. And that'd be kind of cool. No. 
is just a nameless... Get out. <laughs> just get out. Look at all that experience Cecil got. Delicious. Nutritious. So much better served. All right. Legion with a hand axe, 16 speed, oh boy. Actually pretty terrifying. Let's get some health uh, while we're working on things. Pugmo's fun, you didn't know. Okay, so out of curiosity, he doesn't double Marth. Uh, he's a lot of HP. Spell has a really good chance of just critting him outright. <laughs> and with the quick bow, he takes him down to 3 HP. Uh, with that... Uh, but that would... Let's just have him attack Jezebel and hope he survives. That's... That's where I'm at. Just want to hope he, he doesn't kill himself. Because I want to give the, the actual kill experience to Cecil. Hehe, <laughs> come on, come on, let's fight! Okay. I like his boss theme, though. So let's see. Cecil has to hit him with the Lady Sword to kill, of course, of course. Well, it's a boss. Go for it, girl. I won't die you if you kill me. <laughs> I don't. I think they're. I won't die even if you kill me. Okay. Strength. Well, I mean, more strength is very welcome. More strength is very welcome. Especially uh, with how our army has been doing. Uh, let me double check. There's no, like, hidden tile or anything here, right? Nope. Okay. Well, there we go. Uh, Caesar and Rad who? I don't know. I never heard of him. <laughs> Moving on. Sire, the battle's over. Jezebel, Caesar, and Rad were our comrades in the previous war. George, too, to be fighting our former comrades like this. Sire, you must be strong. Now that Arcania has become our enemy, we'll have to face this kind of situation many times over. But don't worry, Sire, you will always have Jezebel and me. Your royal retainer is by your side. Thank you, Jacob. Jezebel, it's only because you're with me that I can walk forward. Let us go to the Fane of Ramah. Oh. Oh dear, uh, Roro, it seems your clone died. Oh, he was no clone. He was my brother. We're all Roro. Whatever. So, are you the real Roro or just another clone? Who knows? I forget. We. <laughs> the Altains are strong. Next time I'll bring all my brothers. Uh, real me and brothers together will kill Marth. We. <laughs> Why does he have clones? It's like, I, I don't know if it's gonna be explained or not, or is this just gonna be another Anna situation? <laughs> it's just they all look the same. Don't question it. It's a long line of Annas and a long line of Legion. I, I don't fucking know. Either way, short little guiding chapter. Most of which I feel was taken. Like most of this video, I think was taken up by all of the support dialogue to get through at the start, rather than the actual map. But it is what it is. Uh, it's it's a nice little, especially after how long chapter six was. I appreciate how short it was. Uh, but either way, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed.